Is your game being held together by blueprints that look like actual spaghetti? It's time to fix that. Events, functions, and macros, they are used in every single blueprint. They all act differently, so what do you use when? To save you from hours of frustration, I will explain everything you need to know about these as they not only clean up your blueprint, but they also come with other perks as well. Oh yeah, stick around for a free bonus tip at the end. We all use events, it marks the start of functionality in our blueprint. Begin play happens when the game starts, tick happens every frame, and on begin overlap happens when something overlaps with the blueprint. But the most interesting events are custom events, as we can decide when they are triggered. We can trigger them from the same blueprint or from another blueprint using blueprint communication. Make sure to watch my earlier video about blueprint communication to understand how this all works. If you find yourself having a long snake of nodes after one event, consider creating more events and organize your code in that way. It not only makes your code cleaner to look at, but by having these separate chunks of functionality, you can easily trigger only that piece of code by calling this event. With events, you can also add input parameters, variables that you basically send to this event. When calling the event, you can enter data into these variables. Functions act in a similar way as events do. They can be called from within the same blueprint or another blueprint, and they make your event graph a lot cleaner. Besides input parameters, functions can also have output parameters. They can take in a variable, change it within the function, and ship it to the output parameter. They can basically be seen as small machines in a bigger factory. However, functions cannot handle latent functionality. This means nodes that take time, like delays and timelines, they cannot be used here. You can designate these nodes by the little clock icon. This is a big consideration to make when choosing between an event or a function. You can make a function pure to remove the execution pins. You can do this by selecting the function and ticking the pure checkbox. You can also call functions from a child blueprint. In the child blueprint, look in the override dropdown in the functions panel. You should be seeing the function that you created in the parent blueprint. And technically speaking, you can also do this with events, but it's just clear to do this with functions only. Macros are essentially a group of nodes that are collapsed into one. You can add multiple input and output pins and as many input and output parameters as you want. You can use delays here, but you cannot create a timeline. What makes macros nice to use is that they are modular. That means you can reuse them anywhere in your graph. Do note that they cannot be accessed from other blueprints or children of the blueprint. Macros are often useful when doing some complex maths that you have to reuse in the same blueprint. And the last tool I want to share with you are collapsed graphs. In essence, they are just macros, but you cannot reuse these. They are purely to clean up your blueprint. And those are the tools I use to organize and clean up my blueprints. So to recap, events always mark the start of your functionality. It's best to split up your functionality into multiple events to not create a snake of blueprint nodes. They can use any node you want. Functions can be seen as small machines in a bigger factory. As opposed to events, they can contain output parameters, but one major drawback though is that they cannot handle latent nodes, like delays or timelines. Macros are nodes that are collapsed, but you can reuse these. They can have multiple input and output execution pins, and they can contain input and output parameters. They do handle delays, but you cannot add timelines here. They can only be used in the blueprint that it's created in, and they cannot be called from another blueprint or a child blueprint. Lastly, the collapsed graphs clean your blueprint by collapsing multiple nodes to one, but be aware that they are not modular. They cannot be reused in the blueprint. Using these tools will not only make your blueprint cleaner, but by separating code into custom events and functions, you can easily trigger little chunks of functionality. If you want to learn about other groups of nodes, make sure to watch this video that's on your screen right now. Please consider subscribing, it would help me out a lot, and I hope to see you in my next video.